Hey everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a video doing an unboxing, review, and first time brush test of the PopSonic Go Plus electric toothbrush, which is in this box right here. This is a product that I received from the company to review. And so we'll do in this video is we'll discuss the packaging, the general features and design of the brush. Then we'll walk through brushing with this for the very first time. As always, if you're interested in potentially purchasing this, I'll leave links in the description. Below. Okay, so this is the PopSonic Go Plus electric toothbrush. You can currently get this on Amazon for $20 or $19.99. Um, this is a really cool ultrasonic toothbrush that's really tailored for being compact to use on the go. Um, it actually comes with the toothbrush, uh, two replacement toothbrush heads, and a traveling case. And so it's something that's um, more affordable and uh, a better design as far as being more portable and something that you can bring for traveling purposes as compared to little larger and more expensive toothbrushes. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Um, as far as the color options, this is gonna be their silver model, but they have eight different color options. I'll list them off real quick. They've got black, emerald green, rose gold, silver, which is this, brilliant blue, punchy purple, um, rose pink, and teal. So you really could customize this in any uh, kind of color fashion you want. And if you have multiple family members, you can get different colors for each individual so you don't mix them up. Um, but it's gonna be like a really nice metallic finish um, and the carrying case kind of complements it really well. So it's a really cool, unique design, especially for the price of only $19.99. Um, but real quick, we'll go over the packaging. So this is what it looks like on the front. Just has some generic labeling as far as PopSonic says it's the Go Plus model with tra travel carrying case and shows the actual silver toothbrush on the front. Um, says on the side here, Sonic Silver, which is the color. And then on the back here, it shows what it's included. So it says toothbrush handle, the traveling case, two brush heads, one AAA battery. So it will have a AAA battery that needs to be replaced every once in a while. Um, it states that it's uh, 28,000 plus brush strokes per minute. So it's really ultrasonic from that standpoint. It's got two speed to control your clean and then it actually has a built-in two-minute timer and quadrant pacer which is a really cool plus because that allows you to pace your brushing and make sure that you don't overbrush and brush enough um, in each segment of your your teeth so that's really cool as far as the that functionality um, now we'll just take it out of the packaging take a look at this um, and so it's kind of this is kind of what it looks like out of the box. Um, so let me just see what we got here because it fell out, out all at once. Um, and so the packaging, you've got a AAA battery here. You've got a brush head, I believe, here. We'll actually just open this up and take it out. Um, so this is the brush head. Um, you have the carrying case, which probably includes the br toothbrush as well. And then you've got an instruction manual as well. And so this is everything that's included in the actual box, okay? Um, they do include the manual I'll just glance over this real quick but I think this is generically or like generally pretty generic so it shows you what is included in the box um, there's two separate modes a gentle mode which is 23,000 strokes per minute and a regular mode which is 28,000 um, so when you press uh, when you press it on it'll be gentle and if you press it twice it'll be regular um, so that is nice as far as whether you have um, sensitive teeth um, and then it basically shows how to brush your teeth which we'll go through later um, and then it shows placing the battery and brush head. Um, but that's it for the actual manual. Um, now we'll take a look at the actual toothbrush. So this is the carrying case. So it's got this like plastic silver um, finish. Um, it is plastic, it's not metal, it's nothing too fancy there. Um, it pops open like this. And then here's the actual toothbrush um, in the case, um, or outside of the case. Um, but the case itself, it's just a generic plastic, um, has it, like a closed glass design, clicks into place, um, something easy and to use. Um, it's very compact as far as having not too much extra space. I have a Oral-B Pro 1500, and the carrying case for that is about like three times the size. It's very cumbersome, and it's got a lot of extra space, and it just gets gross and nasty, so I don't use it. Um, but this case in general is a li little bit more elegant as far as just being simple where you can just throw the toothbrush in, close it, throw it in your bag and go with it. So that's nice there. Uh, additionally, the case um, itself has some holes here so it does drain so you don't get 
buildup of grossness or mildew or whatever you have. Um, but the toothbrush itself, um, you've got the two brush heads. One was included on the actual toothbrush, which is nice. Um, the toothbrush head, um, it has like this silver gray design. Um, it's just a generic round toothbrush, nothing too fancy as far as like um, anything complex or anything like that. And you can tell based on this brush head that it's gonna be a ultrasonic um, brush, brush where it's just gonna vibrate as far as things. Um, and then putting it on and it just basically um, this is there's this metal clasp at the top you just basically slide it in um, I don't think it'll slide into any other direction so really it's just straight on um, in line with the rest of the brush um, as far as the brush itself it's really really elegant design as far as this silver design it's a metallic finish it's really nice um, for this price point it's much better than other designs I've seen um, where it's, it's it's a really nice elegant design for for this price and the, and that color scheme um, the silver really pops um, as far as touch, it is more of a pla it is actually plastic, so it's not actually metallic, um, but it's a very light brush. Um, nothing too fancy as far as being heavy in the hand or anything. Um, and then it's got pop like a pop generic labeling on the bottom. Um, and then this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, real quick, we'll just take a look at the battery. So yeah, if you basically on the bottom here, if you undo like rotate clock counterclockwise loosens the bottom and that's where you put the battery in and um basically what you do is basically take this flatter part slide it on the top or upwards on this and slide it into place and then slide it directly on and snap it or rotate it and so now the battery's in we'll test this out and so when you press it on um it vibrates. Um, you can see the br bristles actually vibrating. And so this is the gentler mode where it's a gentler mode where it's a little bit softer. And then I believe if you touch this and tap twice, or there you go. So if, if you turn it on and press it one more time, it basically increases it to the regular mode. And so it vibrates a little bit faster there. So I'll just show you that one more time. So this is the gentle mode or sorry, there, that's the gentle mode. And then if you tap it again, it's a little more aggressive as far as the bristles. Um, but in general, it looks kind of like normal generic um, toothbrush and stuff. I'll say that at $20, it's pretty nice as far as the overall design, the compactness, the carrying case from that standpoint. Um, we'll have to test it out. So what I'll do now is I'll run into the bathroom and we'll brush with this for the very first time. All right, so here's the toothbrush. We'll try brushing with this for the very first time. Um, I'm gonna use the gentle mode for this um, and then we'll walk through brushing with this for two whole minutes um, just to get a sense of the timer and the different quadrants and then I'll give you feedback after that then I'll switch over to the regular mode just to give a quick kind of feedback kind of what it feels like and whether I notice a drastic difference uh, but we'll brush now So that was after two minutes of using the brush. Um, as far as feedback, it does have a built-in timer where every 30 seconds, which pretty much was each quadrant on the mark, um, it would basically pause for a brief second and then continue. So for this one, as compared to others, it doesn't like kind of like pulse or anything. It basically just pauses and then it stops for a second and then continues. And then as far as at the end of it, after two minutes, it basically stopped completely. Um, so that's nice where it basically forces you to only brush for two minutes and it marks out the quadrants. And the, the brief pause is a little bit different compared to other brushes, but it did serve well for that functionality. As far as feedback, my teeth feel, feel very polished, very smooth as far as brushing. I feel like it's a very clean brush um, as far as tooth brushing experience and I had no issues or complaints. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Um, as far as feedback while brushing, I'll say that um, compared to like the Lumino or the Bitvay brush, which are both are ultrasonic brushes, um, it's a little bit milder and more gentle. It's not as in, like aggressive as far as 
that pulsation and the vibration. And so for me, where I've got like trigeminal issues, where I've got hypersensitivity on the bottom of my mouth from breaking my jaw, um, it I didn't notice any hypersensitivity versus the other toothbrushes I've tried in the past um, that did cause hypersensitivity where it did cause issues. Um, so in general, I'm very impressed with this. At $20, it's a good affordable brush. Um, you get a carrying case, the design's very sleek, elegant. It's a light waist, com compact aspect of it. Um, um, I'll say compared to like the Bidve, which is probably a head-to-head -head comparison as far as price point, um, this one only has two settings as compared to five, which probably doesn't matter that much, um, but it does come with a, a, a traveling case, which is really, really nice, which the Bidve didn't. Um, and then this one only comes with two brush heads as compared to the Bidve, which has about eight. Um, I did redo a recent review of the Bidve, and I noticed that the brush heads on those brushes um, did wear pretty quickly. And so what I'll do is I'll actually switch over to using this Pop Sonic um, from now on for over the upcoming months and then I'll circle back and do a follow-up video if I run into any issues. Uh, the main thing I'm really curious about is with the AAA battery how long does that last and when do you need to replace it um, because it's not rechargeable it's something that you just have to replace the battery and I'm really curious about whether the brush head lasts or how long it lasts and how often you have to replace it as well because um, that's the only consumables for this product um, but that's really all I have for this video overall it's a really good toothbrush for the price the traveling case is nice it's a sleek elegant design they've got a wide variety of color options for customization um, so thanks for watching and have a great day